Throughout Cedinho's career, he's been at multiple different clubs, from Leicester City to Chelsea, even Wolfsburg. And the truth is, at every club, Cedinho scored a ton of goals, but he's never been one with the team. But at Atletico Madrid, things are completely different. Of course, Cedinho is still scoring a ridiculous amount of goals, but he's also playing for the team, and for the first time, he's got a clear chance of winning La Liga as Atletico are top of the league, and they've also made it to the knockout rounds of the Champions League. It's it's almost as if Cedinho is finally at a club that can match his talents and it's taking his game and the team's game to the next level. But today is going to be Cedinho's first big test in Spain because he's going to be facing Real Madrid at the Santiago Bernabeu as well as Barcelona at home. Well, if Cedinho wants to prove the world that he can win trophies with Atletico Madrid, this is his chance. I cannot believe this is actually happening, guys. Cedinho is going to be playing at the Bernabeu against Real Madrid in a Madrid derby. And a win here for Cedinho and the boys could be huge in La Liga. We're already unbeaten in the league. And look at Cedinho's stats. He's competing with Bruno Fernandes, who's playing at Real Madrid, by the way. Both of them have got 14 goals apiece. I mean, even if you compare Cedinho to Bellingham in real life, Cedinho's stats are way better. He's just a superior player. And I think he's just called Bellingham a sheep and himself the goat, which, yeah, I think Cedinho is, is a bit narcissistic. Look at him just tweet this. I'm so proud of myself. Um, who does that? And whoa, Kylian Mbappe says Blood thinks he's Jude Bellingham. And whoa, 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 Cedinho says that he's better. I guess against Real Madrid, Cedinho's gonna have to prove himself. Oh, wow, Kylian Mbappe's changed his tune. He's kind of supporting Cedinho now. Maybe in the future, we'll see a link up between Mbappe and Cedinho. Here we go, boys, against Madrid. I already might have my first chance. Go on, Cedinho making the run in behind. Oh, he's playing with Marquinhos. Somehow he's gotten through. Cedinho, no. Oh, wow. First goal in a Madrid derby and it's a complete madness. I don't know how that worked, but Cedinho will take that. He's just scored at the Santiago Bernabeu. And it's, of course, fitting that it's the most comical goal you'll see. Guys, I have no idea how this went. And Madrid defended it so well, but Cedinho just does not give up. Keeps fighting and he's now got a goal against Real Madrid. Where's Jude Bellingham, guys? I don't see him on the pitch. Bruh. No way, Jude Bellingham has been benched for Bruno Fernandes, so, well, we've already proved ourselves better than Jude Bellingham in this game. Oh, look at Cedinho, ask for the ball, a clever flick up and all. Oh, look at him link up with his teammate, Cedinho, putting in a show against Real Madrid. Keeps going with that pace, maybe a cutback. And it's a brilliant goal from Nicholas Jackson. Cedinho, the team player at Atletico. I can't believe we're leading 2-0 against Real Madrid. Bro, I'm telling you, something is clicking here at Atletico. It's we're in a special moment of form. Everything in the club is clicking. This is Cedinho's season to dominate the world of football and crown himself as the world's best player. If he can win the league with Atletico, that would be huge. Okay, maybe we've gotten a bit excited too early because now Real Madrid is starting to get a bit better. Rodrigo on the charge, but look at our defending, boys. Atletico Madrid with the five at the back system. It's so difficult to get through our defenders. Look at that. Guys, I think I just witnessed Bruno Fernandes literally get hooked. Bro, I can't believe it. First half itself, Real Madrid have hooked their star player. Vinicius coming on. Cedinho has got Real Madrid shaking in this game. No two ways about it. Oh, Cedinho doing a bicycle kick pass and everything. It's just working here at Atletico, man. The con confidence is crazy. Oh, that must be a bit too much. Oh, Cedinho still got there. Yeah. Trying to call it in, but the keeper saves. Halftime, boys, and this has been one of Cedinho's best performances. And the fact that it's coming at the Bernabeu is crazy. Ah, Real Madrid on the charge. And yep. Dani Ceballos could save all black. I think we still need one more goal to be safe of Real Madrid because you guys know they're good at comebacks. Talking about comebacks and Fede Valverde scores. Absolutely brilliant. It's never over against Real Madrid, I'll tell you that. Okay, second half and Real Madrid are just a different team and I, I don't like this. We need to be playing a lot better here. As a chance for Vlahovic, please. No! After a ridiculous first half, Real Madrid have scored yet another late goal. The game's not over, boys. The game is absolutely not over. We still have 20 minutes to try and get the lead, but right now it looks like Madrid might be the team to score another goal. Oh, what a ball for Cedinho. On the volley first time. We might know. I thought we could have a rebound there. That was a good attempt. We're still on the charge here. Cedinho gets the ball, but no space. Real Madrid defending so well. Oh, look at Cedinho pressing. Wins the ball back in a good spot. 
Looks for a pass for his teammate. Jackson, you had to do better there. And this is how the game ends, boys. A two-all draw. You know what? It keeps us unbeaten. I'll take it. But I really wanted to see Cedinho get the result at the Bernabeu. But hey, he scored in this game. And I think that's a memory he'll keep for a long, long time. Oh, that's another man of the match award, boys, for Cedinho. He's collecting so many of them. Yo, even with that draw, the gap against Real Madrid is still pretty crazy. If only we can get a win against Barcelona, that would really propel our chances to win La Liga even more. Oh, look at that. Right before the Barcelona game, cedinho has got four skill points to use. Oh, and you bet we're upgrading some stats. Let's see what we can do this time. Yo, we can literally make Cedinho's dribbling crazy, and that's what I've done. 94 dribbling now. Plus, let's go a bit crazy on the ball control. We got one more skill point. I'm just gonna try and boost up Cedinho's long shots, man. Has his overall gone up? No way, guys. We've got Cedinho to a 90 overall, and you guys know when you hit that 90 overall, they start considering you for the Ballon d'Or more often. This is huge. But here we are playing against Barcelona, and did I notice Casemiro playing for Barcelona? That's the weirdest thing I've seen. No way, guys. This is actually a thing. Why on earth is Casemiro at Barcelona? Against Madrid, disappointed we couldn't get the win, so I want to try and get the win against Barcelona here. Cedinho fighting for it, looking for a teammate, and oh, we almost scored. Big save to Stegen. Ah. Yo, Barcelona have got Marcus Rashford as well. Bro, they've got a team, and this game might get really tricky for us, but we're in great form, and we've got a crazy defense that just stops everything. Oh, they're asking me to run a lot for this, but Cedinho's got the pace. He's broken through. Can he get nope. the goal? Come on, how is this Stegen save that? Wouldn't mind a goal from a set piece against Barcelona. Nope. And this Stegen again with the save. We still have the ball. I get tackled though. Do you know what? We've just improved Cedinho's long shots. And I don't want trying nope. one. Just Stegen again. Good save. He's been saving everything. No, no, no. Rashford's gone through. And against the run of play, Barcelona have scored. Against big teams, we're still not able to get results. Ah, that's... Oh, come on. Don't do that celebration on us. Nah, Rashford is not disrespecting Cedinho like that. We're gonna score in this game. This is looking promising. Cedinho gets the ball now. Chance to score. He's still going for goal here. No, he's put it wide. Oh, I cannot believe he's not scored there. I think Rashford's celebration has got into Cedinho's head now. He's, he's not been the same since. And whoa, he just got taken out by Frankie de Jong over there. And there's a bit of beef going on between the Atleti and Barca players. It's a yellow card for this game. It's heating up. Cedinho, this is his chance. Tough angle. No. Nope. But he still can't get it past the Stegen. But this might be his chance, though. This might be his chance. Finally, Cedinho gets his goal. And of course, you know what he's going to do. Show Rashford who's boss. There's Cedinho doing Rashford celebration right in front of him. It took us so many chances to beat the Stegen, man. That's the crazy part. Oh, Cedinho has got a bit of space to exploit and there's a bit of dribbling looking for Jao Felix what a lovely pass Felix now 1v1 could win us the game and Felix does exactly that in the 86th minute Cedinho being the team player that he is sets up Felix and that should be the win against Barca a few moments later no, 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 let's not concede at the end. No. What is this? 93rd minute, Barcelona get the equalizer. Against the big teams, we're still not able to get the results. Do you know what? Can't blame Cedinho for that. He did his job up top. I think it's the Atleti defense that's just lacking a little bit. But still, Atletico Madrid are flying in La Liga, unbeaten top of the league this season. It looks like we have to win the league. It's also now the winter break. No games for a couple of weeks, but you guys remember what happened the last time Cedinho went on a winter break? Yep, he gained quite a few pounds, ate too many McDonald's, but that is not happening now. Cedinho is going to be focusing in the gym, focusing on his football because he wants to win Atletico the big trophies. By the way, guys, if you think Cedinho is the world's best player or will be in the future, I need you all to subscribe to the channel. But also, it's the January trans window and clubs across the world are making some really cool signings. And I believe Atletico should sign a couple of defenders, man, especially if we want to do well in the Champions League. Well, in other news, look at Cedinho win at the December Player of the Month award. Yo, the La Liga Player of the Month award looks a bit different. We'll take that though. Cedinho continues to win awards. To be fair, guys, it's super harsh that Cedinho didn't get a win against Barca Madrid because in both games, he put in 10 on 10 performances, scored goals. He deserves this. Oh, let's use the Player of the Month award to just stat badge some Maverick points. Will be useful. Wait a minute, guys. Instead of signing new players, it looks like Cedinho 
his teammate Nicholas Jackson might be heading to Bayern Munich? Nah, that's that's a massive L. Cedinho is, I think, actually enjoying playing alongside Jackson because both of them play up top together and Jackson plays a good secondary role to him. If Jackson is sold, Cedinho is going to have to play with this guy, Carlos Martin, who looks like an absolute fraud. I really hope Atletico know what they're doing. So far, I'm seeing a lot of different clubs make signings, but it's not Atletico Madrid. Look at this former Atleti player, De Paul, out here playing for Bournemouth, which is so weird. Whoa, looks like even Barcelona want to sign Nicholas Jackson. No way are Atleti selling him to a rival. But the good news is Atletico do end up signing a player, and it's Mancini, who's 86 rated. Now, that's the kind of teammate Cedinho needs at the back. Wait a minute, guys. Atletico Madrid face Barca challenge. Why are we facing Barcelona again? Wait, what? What is this fixture scheduling? Why are we playing Barcelona and Real Madrid literally right after we played them in December? Do you know what? It might be a good thing because if we can get results against them, we might legit have La Liga wrapped up in January. Then we can just focus on, of course, the Champions League. And now the defense with Mancini and then they've straight away given him the armband as well, which doesn't make too much sense. But anyways, we've got Cedinho playing at the Camp Nou against Barcelona. Let's put in another good performance, man. This time, I want to get the win against, you know, the big teams in Spain. Here goes Cedinho. Eric Garcia's no way catching up to him. Cedinho now. 1v1 and the finish is lovely against Barcelona as well and we're not gonna let Rashford sleep because we're doing his celebration on him yet again oh look at Rashford there beside Cedinho he's probably pissed right now now we've got the experience playing against the top club and we're taking complete advantage of it Cedinho slots that one home this time there's the Jude Bellingham celebration on Barca what a performance and yes guys those two goals from Cedinho were enough to get the win yo look at the gap we've got over Barcelona it's almost nine points Madrid are pretty close as well but if we beat them in our next game I think we would have wrapped up La Liga in January itself which is crazy Do you know what for this game I'm thinking Cedinho needs new Adidas boots what are we saying about these these look really nice I love a bit of green on them as well yeah I'm a big fan let's let's rock with these for a few games a lot of you guys were telling me though why didn't Cedinho sign with Nike considering he's a bit of a Ronaldo fan well that's because the contract was un reasonable from Nike. They wanted him to score a minimum of 15 goals per season, which is fine. Must exclusively wear Nike branded attire throughout the duration of this contract. That works too. But look at this. The consumption of McDonald's is forbidden during the duration of this contract. There was no way Cedinho was signing up for that. Just like what this guy said, they took it too far with the McDonald's. And hence, of course, Cedinho signed with Adidas. But here we go, boys. Time for the Madrid derby. We could literally end La Liga right here, right now. Now I think Real Madrid are the only team we haven't beaten. This is Cedinho's chance. Okay, might not be so easy because first chance falls for Madrid. They look to be in the mood. Okay, Rodrigo. Okay, stop it. Real Madrid take the lead. Maybe La Liga isn't over just yet. Wait, what is happening out here? Real Madrid are absolutely destroying us. This is terrible. Go on, lovely ball. Jackson, you've got to take it into your stride. Then shoot. What was that? Oh, Cedinho has completely gone through. Chance to score. Oh, that was a ruthless finish from Cedinho. Come on. The game's not over yet. Yo, I just realized our unbeaten record in La Liga is on the line in this game. And I don't want to give that away. Oh, we might have space to break through. Not many chances in this game. Cedinho needs to take this opportunity. Can he score? And of course he does against Madrid. A brace for Cedinho. Runs straight to the corner flag. Celebrates in style. Let's go. But looks like that was the last piece of action from that game. We're going to have to share the spoils with Madrid. But hey, we still keep our top spot. Four points clear of Real Sostad. Five over Madrid. We're in the best position to win the title. This season could end up being historic for Cedinho. And the journey will continue in the next one.